Hi children, how are you all? Hope all are doing well. Yes, children, when you travel outside, when you go out, when you travel, when you look around or look on both sides, if you are in a vehicle, then what all things that, what all things that you can see around you when you travel? Yes. Yes, when you travel somewhere, when you are going outside, when you look around here and there, you can see a lot of things, isn't it? You can see people traveling another vehicle. You can see different vehicles like car, bus, auto, scooter, bike, etc. Then, what all things you can see? Yes, you can see trees, plants around. Then, you can see many shops, isn't it? many shops, buildings, hospitals, schools, etc. So these uh, hospital, school, uh, temple you can see, then uh, you can see many shops, you can see many flats uh, with one floor, two floors, three floor, four floor, like multi-storied buildings we can see when you travel, isn't it? Yes. So. Have you ever think about these buildings, how they are, how they construct or how they are made? Suppose if you are uh, staying in a colony, you are living in a colony where many houses are there. Okay. Yes. Many houses. So how they are built? Have you ever seen building a house or constructing a house? Yes. Many buildings are there around around us isn't it yes so uh, constructing a building uh, it's not that easy isn't it a, one person cannot do that we need many people together many people work together and they construct a house a building isn't it yes and it requires a lot of time money materials etc so when we are traveling through road by road hmm, sometimes uh, to avoid traffic and all on the road itself we can see some bridges hmm? flyovers we say bridges we say if there is a river hmm, to cross that river people build bridges over a river so when you travel you can see we can uh, they have built a road over a river it's like a bridge isn't it? Yes. So how these bridges are built? There are different types of bridges. There are some bridges only for the people to pass by. People walk through the bridge. There are some bridges where vehicles are passing. Hmm? Over a river, many types of bridges we can see. Only people passing, only vehicles passing. Huh? And sometimes you, uh, when you travel by train also, have you uh, uh, traveled in train? Yes, most of us traveled by train also. So when we cross a river on a, uh, when we travel through tra by train on railway track, some bridges are made with railway track also, isn't it? Yes. So there are different types of bridges. Many bridges are built for people to pass by. Many uh, bridges are built for heavy vehicles. Even bridges are made with railway tracks also. So to construct a bridge or a building, it requires a lot of time. Uh, uh, materials also we need different types of materials and lot of people we need to build a house, to construct a house or a bridge or a building. So today we are going to learn about this building materials and bridges okay yes so today we are going to learn about the construction of this building how these buildings are built how we construct a house a building a house or a bridge and it requires actually uh, it requires a lot of money uh, people time materials etc so let us see the work behind it Build, building a bridge or a house and all so we learn about that okay building material and bridges okay that is a topic for today building 
materials many material lot of materials we need to build a house or a building to construct a house uh, and bridges yes different types of bridges are there so we learn about building materials and bridges okay lesson number 21 building materials and bridges okay children yes now let us read our course book yes lesson 21 building material and bridges here we can see the girls radhika and mihika let's see what are, what they are talking about hi radhika yes Vihika is telling to Radhika, Hi Radhika, do you know who help us in constructing our house? Okay, so Vihika is asking Radhika, do you know who built our house? Who helps in doing that? Yes, Vihika. So Radhika is telling, yes, I know. Many people such as an architect, mason, painter, carpenter, plumber, electrician, etc. help us in making our house. So these all person or people together huh? together work together for, to build a house to construct a house they are an architect who uh, who draw the plan of the house he is an architect then mason those who build the walls of the house with bricks and stones architect mason painter those who paint the house carpenter Plumber fits the pipe, pipe connections and all. Okay, electrician fits his electric switches, switchboard, uh, everything in the house. So these people together hmm, help us in making a house to construct a house. Yes. So here Radhika is answering to Mihika by telling that I know the people who construct a house like architect huh? who draws the plan for the house where the room should be kitchen should be this side or uh, how it looks huh? bedrooms how many rooms there should be in which position it should come everything huh? that plan who draws architect mason builds walls of the house with bricks and stones painter paints the house carpenter builds furniture for the house like doors windows hmm? chairs tables shelves cupboard etc then plumber fixes the pipe full pipe connection total connections of pipe fixing pipe and this, uh, laying the pipes underground and all plumber do does that work electrician he make such boards or he uh, he do the electric work in the house so these many persons we require to build a house for making a house yes so let's learn about building a house using different materials yes we need different materials to build a house a person alone cannot build a house and uh, only with brick we cannot build a house we need many things we need bricks, stone, metals, cement, etc. Then building bridges also today we are going to learn. Building a house is not easy. It requires a lot of money. Yes, first of all we need money to build a house. Manpower, many people and their power means they together, uh, together group of people together doing the work materials we need many materials and tools these people they use different tools to build a house so let's know something about how a house is constructed building a house using different materials so first we are learning about building a house using different materials isn't it yes we all know different materials we need to build a house what are these materials we need many materials to build a house many people work as a team and use different types of tools to do the job many people as a team as a group they work together huh? and they use different kinds of devices or tools huh? for the work carpenter use 
different tools and mason use different tools like different tools they require to build a house to do the job to build a house first of all we need a piece of land first we need land on land only we are building house isn't it yes so first we need a piece of land yes then we need an architect to draw the plan of a house once the land is fixed uh, here so and oh please here we have a land then there we can build a house to before building we have to we have to plan how the house should be isn't it for drawing that plan we 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 approach whom an architect he draws the plan for the house so we need an architect after fixing the land we call an architect architect a r c h i t e c t architect to draw the plan of the house the plan of a house shows where each room will be built the plan of a house it shows where the room should be each room where the position of rooms everything we can see in the plan how many rooms it should be an architect uses instruments like computer drawing board compass and scale to make his drawing so he needs to draw a plan he needs to draw a house plan so for that he uses different tools we already learned that all these people use different tools to do the job so architect use scale computer drawing board compass etc to draw the plan once the plan is ready he it is sent to the cons concerned authorities for approval yes you can see the image here of an architect drawing or uh, his uh, his uh, his plan you can see on a flat paper hmm? yes so after the plan is ready they send this plan to whom to the concerned authority uh, to the department of head of the department where they give the approval they should say yes for this plan they should approve it and they should accept it then only we can uh, uh, start the work when it is approved the mason and his helpers lay the walls pillars and roof of the house so once the plan is approved architect draw plan and this plan after approval from the head of the department or the authority the authority or the head who approves it after getting approval after okay after getting s yes or okay the accept after they accept the plan we'll start the work what first first means for a building a house constructing a house or a building whatever first we need to lay foundation a strong foundation should be there isn't it yes so after it is approved mason and his helpers lay the walls pillars and roof of the house so first they lay the foundation mason means he make he makes things or buildings with stone bricks and all so he build walls isn't it after getting approval what happened mason he build the walls of the house or he lays the foundation of the house we say by constructing walls pillars then roof of the house he said the walls pillars and roof cement sand gravel and bricks are used to make the walls and roof so what all things they use to make the walls yes they use cement sand gravel and bricks hmm? have you seen nearby your house uh, people constructing a house and they are mixing the cement sand and all huh? they make it as a paste and then uh, they build the walls isn't it yes using bricks and all some of the tools used by the mason are yes mason also use different tools to build walls pillars and all yes which are the tools trowel shovel planner and chisel hmm? so mason they use different kinds of tools to build walls pillars and all so some of the tools used by mason are trowel okay mason use trowel t r o w e l then shovel s h o v e l shovel then planner 
P L A N E R then chisel these are the tools used by mason to build a to build a wall pillars and roof okay trowel shovel planner chisel these are the different tools used by the mason trowel is used to apply uh, apply or spread after mixing cement sand and all they use this tool to apply then shovel we use this tool for digging and all uh, planner then chisel and all the chisel they use it for cutting some hard material especially wood and all so these are the different tools used by mason uh, to do his job just like architect use for uh, to draw a plan he use scale compass then he use computer uh, drawing board and all same like that mason use his tools to do his job bricks are long lasting easily available cheap and very useful as building material bricks uh, they're long lasting long lasting they stay for long time then we get it easily it's so cheap not so costly and it's a useful material for building a house in olden times people made the walls of the houses with mud yes very olden days those days bricks were not there so people used to build the walls by using mud later they started using bricks that were made of mud later when bricks were available they started using bricks the mud bricks also there are mud bricks also huh? bricks made of mud so the mud bricks were made stronger by baking okay the bricks are made of mud and this mud bricks are very strong and how they we make this bricks stronger by baking now bricks are made of now bricks are made of baked clay nowadays bricks are made of baked clay so so bricks are available now before there was no bricks so people used to build the walls with mud uh, bricks are made of mud they after that this mud bricks big strong made stronger by baking and now nowadays bricks are made of baked clay so let us see how these bricks are made okay